Okay, you guys, I have some more POF foolishness for you. There's a really funny story at the end, so you might want to watch the whole video. But anyway, let's just jump right in. So I meet this guy on POF, and we have a conversation. We talk for a few days, or actually a few weeks, to be honest with you. Um, and he tells me that he's African. He asked me if I did foreigners or if I dealt with foreigners. And I was like, well, I mean, you know, there's another element involved with foreigners. Um, and he was like, what is that? I said, well, you never really know if they're into you. I said, you don't know if they're just trying to stay in the country, get married. He got offended. We had a long debate about that for a few days. Um, but anyway, we ended up meeting at a bar and that became the topic of discussion. He wanted to explain why he got offended and I wanted to explain why I said what I said. Um, and, and the discussion ensued. We went back and forth. Um, I explained to him that I get contacted all the time by foreigners trying to trick me, pretending to be someone else. They have the wrong, they have uh, different pictures up of other people. Um, I catch them because they try to video chat with me and then they look completely different or they can't video chat for whatever reason. Oh, technical difficulties. There we go. So anyway, I'm explaining why my standpoint on the foreigner thing. He explains his standpoint and we, we agree to disagree or we, we understand each other's feelings towards, you know, I apologize for if I offended him and vice versa. Anyway, so as a result of that conversation, he goes into the fact that, you know, dating sites are crazy and you know, people could put anything they want on their profile. And I agree with him. He chose to use himself as an example and point out to me while we're sitting at the bar that, you know, he actually has a girlfriend. <laughs> my jaw hits the floor in my mind because his profile clearly states that he's single and he's actively in search of a relationship. So I'm pissed at this point. Not that I thought he was going to be my boyfriend after meeting for the first time. But, you know, I was thinking there could be possibilities there. And he's sitting there all smug like ain't nothing wrong with it. So I'm like, okay, does your girlfriend know that you're here right now? He was like, yeah, she knows. I was like, well, he said I called her before I came and told her I was having drinks with a friend. I said, a friend? He said, yes. I said, uh, did you tell her it was a female? He was like... No, she didn't ask. I was like, well, don't you think you should have told her? He was like, no, she didn't ask. I said, so she has to ask for you to tell her that you're out with a female having drinks? He was like, well, I could call her right now. Do you want me to call her and tell her? I was like, I should have called his bluff and said yes. I was like, no. I said, that's not necessary. I said, but I don't understand why you're meeting me if you're only looking for friends. He was like, well, you know, you know, I'm new to the area and it's, you know, it's nice to meet new people. I just wanted to see what's 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 around in this area. I said, well, I don't understand, though. So why, why did you put that you were looking for a relationship if you're not? He couldn't explain that, of course. I said, and if you're not doing anything wrong. Then why didn't you tell your girlfriend or volunteer that information that you were meeting a female? He was like, because she didn't ask. I was like, well, I mean. Don't you think you should tell her you don't feel wrong for that? He was like, no. I said, would she care if you were with a female? He was like, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't care. And I'm like, well, I would if I were her. So I don't believe you right now. I think you're hiding something, which is why you didn't tell her you were with a female. So we go back and forth as to why he's not doing anything wrong. And we're just sitting in a bar having drinks. We're not doing anything. No, we're not. But it's cheating. He was like, you consider that cheating? I said, yes, because you were not honest with her. So anyway, we go back and forth and he's being so smug about it. Just like as if he got over on her, but... It's okay because she didn't ask and she wouldn't be mad anyway and we're not doing anything wrong. But obviously you feel guilty if you did not tell her you were with a female. Not to mention he claimed before we even met that he could only stay for a few minutes. He couldn't even, he had to make a phone call. No, you got to get home to your girlfriend. That's what it is. You're creeping. Anyhow, so we go our separate ways. I think we met around... 
seven thirty, eight o'clock, and by nine, it was a rat. We only had one drink apiece. Um, and then a few days later, he contacts me and he wants to know if we can still be friends. And I'm like, no, for what? What do you want to be my friend for? Of course, he couldn't answer that question. And then I proceeded to tell him that, you know, I just, I feel some type of way. I feel like it was wrong. I I, I don't understand why you want to be my friend. I, I think you had, you're up to something. I think you have ulterior motives and I'm not going to be a part of that. Um, I said, your profile clearly states that you are looking for a relationship and that you're single. I said, and you just play me. Like you should have told me that before we met so that I could make a decision as to whether I wanted to make, meet you or not. You don't trick somebody into meeting you. And he was like, well, I could have been looking for any type of relationship. You didn't ask. You didn't ask me to specify. So I said, come on now. I said, so you're on a dating website. Your profile says you're single. And says that you're actively looking for a relationship. But it's my fault because I didn't ask you what type of relationship you were looking for. I said, come on now. I said, don't do that. I said, so now you're going to make me feel, try to make me feel guilty for the way I feel now. So anyway, I laid him out and I haven't spoken to him since and I don't plan on it. Um, he better not contact me because I'm going to lay him out again. But the bottom line is I don't understand who who are these people? Why, why is he so bold? Not to mention he lied on his profile. But he, he he just announces it at at the bar that he lied and 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 that he played me basically like as if it's, there's nothing wrong with it. He had no shame. He was completely comfortable with what he had done, what he was doing at the time at the bar with me without his girlfriend knowing. He was completely comfortable. There was no guilt, no remorse, nothing. Where his morals? That's what I want to know, fellas. If you've done this before, please, I would love to know. why he wasn't wrong if you if you don't think he was wrong tell, tell me why he's not wrong what's wrong with y'all fellas who y'all think y'all playing are women out there that dumb really <sighs> you know it makes me angry um you know and then every once in a while you'll get a, a crazy guy contacting you like this guy this is a funny one which still pissed me off but it's it's hilarious this dude contacts me and I see I got a message you know I get the little notification and what I always do is when I get a message I will go to their profile first and look at their pictures and check out their profile see what they're actually looking for and this fool looks like a clown a straight clown and I'm thinking to myself I wonder what he said And I finally go to the message. And I wrote this down so I could read it to you. This fool, the very first message, not a hello, not um, how you doing, what you up to tonight, not can I take you out on a date, not can I have your phone number, not, not the typical stuff, nothing like that. This fool says to me in his very first message, and I quote, can I make you my next baby mama? I already have seven and I want more. Clown. A straight clown. I started to respond and lay his behind out. I started to send LOL. I started to send shake my head. I started to just send something to let him know that was not appropriate and you sound crazy and how dare you? Who do you think you are? Why do you think I would want to have a baby with you? Why do you think I would want to have your eighth child? Really? But I just ultimately decided not to even respond, just to ignore it. But uh, all of this has happened within the course of this week so that's been my experience this week with plenty of fish i'm gonna start coming back and sharing every tidbit of craziness i encounter on plenty of fish oh one more um i want to get a long list of the crazy behind names that guys contact me 
with. And by names, I mean their profile name. Um, one this week, Buck Nasty. Buck Nasty. Child, please. <laughs> 